Hello, members and friends of Zion Lutheran Church. I want to share some important news with you about church renovation and renewal plans that congregational leaders here at Zion have been working on for the last several months. But before sharing that news, I want to take a moment to celebrate with you two things that make me feel really good about life at Zion right now. First, I celebrate how well we as a congregation continue to manage this time of stress and uncertainty. Even as life amidst COVID drags on for longer than any of us ever expected, the spirit of joy and peace at Zion is strong. I know it has been a frustrating couple of years and many of us have experienced loss and have felt strain. But we have continued to be a congregation that worships the Lord and welcomes others into this family of faith. I want to thank you for the nurturing and affirming way that we are being church together. Second, I celebrate the generosity that so many have demonstrated over the last few months. I can report to you that we finished the year well financially, having received many generous gifts for ministry in and beyond the congregation in the final weeks of the year. Not only has that generosity given us greater financial confidence, but like all giving, it has enabled us to do more as a community of faith. I want to thank you for the tithes and offerings you give to the ministry we share here at Zion Lutheran Church. Now, about that renovation and renewal project. Thanks to some excellent work by our renovation team and our congregation council, we have an exciting update to share about our next steps. At last night's congregation council meeting, our church leaders voted to proceed with a renovation plan that will involve many needed repairs to our sanctuary building, as well as other needed updates to our church facilities that will enhance our ministry for years to come. The work included in this project will be phased with some of the most pressing needs being addressed in 2022 and some of the other important work taking place later on down the road. To fund this important work, we plan to carry out a well-organized capital campaign this spring. I believe that the campaign and the planned renovations to our facilities are going to be a great source of pride for our church. Now, there is a lot more information that our church leaders want to share with you to help you understand more about the planned renovation and renewal project. To accomplish this, over the next several weeks, there will be a series of talks and presentations where you will be able to hear more and ask questions. The goal is to inform and inspire you so that you are prepared to approve moving forward with the planned special project at a special congregation meeting on Sunday, February 20th. Get this, between today, January 11th, and then February 20th is exactly 40 days, 40 days. Sounds kind of familiar, doesn't it? In the Bible, there are some significant things that happened over 40 days. Noah and the flood, Moses on the mountain of the Lord, Jesus in the wilderness of temptation. In all these Bible stories, 40 days means a long time and the right amount of time. We are calling the days ahead at Zion 40 days of prayer and preparation. I hope you feel this time will be the right amount of time for you and others in our church to learn more about our renovation and renewal project. I also hope you will join me and leaders of our church in praying each day over the next 40 days for this process and for the big decisions and exciting things that lie ahead for Zion Lutheran Church. Thank you for taking time to watch this special announcement. Let us conclude with a word of prayer. 
holy and mighty God, pour out your Spirit on us and work in us during these days of prayer and preparation. Open our minds and our hearts to listen to you and to one another. Give to our church a sense of hope and peace as we look to the future, knowing that our days and our decisions find their purpose in you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. God's blessings, friends, and peace be with you.